Hi everyone. Now this video was originally going to be a highly edited wide web world video, but I've since scaled that down because it's been years since I've been planning it and I can't seem to find a good way to make it in its original highly edited form. So today's video is kind of just me talking about what I was gonna talk about and not as intense of a format. So Video Game Donkey, it's this YouTube creator that y'all probably know, started out as a Newgrounds animator, you know, back when that was a big thing that kids on the internet would do, animating in, in quotation marks and in Microsoft, uh, sorry, Adobe Flash. Um, now it's like Adobe Anime, they keep changing the names for all this stuff. I'm not really here to talk about that, this isn't the documentary on Video Game Donkey. What I want to talk about is, is, is just like his history on the internet and one specific part of it that always got to me. So, if you guys know the guy, he does videos on video games, he does like movie reviews and stuff like that. Um, he's made some pretty iconic videos that you might have seen at different stages of the internet too. He's been around for a long time. But one of the series which often gets ignored about him is his Mario 64 series. Probably because it's been unlisted from his channel. But it's one of those things which really impacted me when I watched it and I want to share that with you guys. So his series on Mario 64 is this really old series on his channel that he does where he plays through the video game. He goes through the levels and gets the stars. It's, it's his classic comedic fashion where he goes around and, you know, um, he just says his random lines and says random funny stuff. But soon into the series, like around, I'd say, episode 18, 19, 20, it starts getting really dark for no reason. It starts getting really, really dark and Video Game Donkey starts talking about like all the stuff that's going on in his life and he starts talking about like his experiences making friends online and how he thinks a lot of the friends that he has are fake. I had a pretty dramatic realization after that, that you know, if your friends online, they're just people you hang out with out of convenience. They're not really, you know, it's hard to gouge. I don't know, I find it oddly oddly cohesive in a way, because for as much as the tone doesn't fit, um, the actual content and the delivery and the way that it's given, it, it makes him sound so nonchalant when he's talking about this serious stuff. So, after making all these videos, Video Game Donkey actually has an interesting development arc in, in his story. It's actually quite peculiar. So he starts off talking about all these financial problems he's facing. You know, he had to pay for this condo that he was living in, this apartment, it's too expensive. And then he talks about all the crappy companies that he's struggling with on YouTube that aren't paying him enough money, all the networks. Eventually, what's interesting is that there's that, this magical turning point in the series by the last episode. So he actually meets his wife, I think, in the last episode, and he shows his, well, his future wife, I think, at the time, girlfriend or something like that. But he also, like, talks about how everything is turning around slowly with the companies, and he's starting to make more money, so... It's this really interesting redemption that he experiences in this Mario 64 series. I always thought it was quite an interesting little tidbit of internet history. And while I know I didn't get to turn this into a full Wide Web World episode, I'm glad I was at least able to make this basic little video talking about it. You know, Video Game Donkey was a big part of my childhood. I watched a lot of his gaming videos when I was a kid. I gotta say his like videos like Game Dev Tycoon and a few others were like one of those things I watched a lot as a kid, probably for, for the worst, but you know, uh, they were things that I was exposed to and it definitely affected the way that I made videos on this channel. And I find it interesting how the character now, the guy who does it, now kind of lives in this weird world of making semi-ironic videos and making serious artistic movie reviews while also making silly just gaming videos like what he used to do. I feel like the tone of his content hasn't really changed since like his Mario 64 videos where he used to just talk about nonsense and play the game. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this random little video on this thing. I think I think it's something what's one of those things which I have always really appreciated is when you can see somebody's history on the internet and it's like such a fascinating story. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Goodbye.